Hello everyone, welcome back to another Maya tutorial. So in the spirit of Halloween, I'm going to create a graystone in Maya and texture it uh, slash UV map it to make it look kind of like this and this, but this one's kind of boring. Um, okay, so let's create a cube right here and I'm just going to extrude this, or not extrude, but scale this uh, however tall I want it to be, so maybe like that tall. I just drag it out a little bit, so that's pretty good. I'm going to take the edges that are here. I'm going to bevel them by either clicking on that or going to edit mesh bevel and I'm gonna put the segments up to maybe 7 and the fraction to like 0.8 because that looks kind of like a generic gravestone so we look at that compared to that looks basically exactly the same and we'll UV map it to add the rip thing just because we could easily do that within Maya but it'll be um, great to add UV mapping to the tutorial okay so we just click on this and go to uh, I, I, you can either click on this or go to UV automatic that's just our base and click on this right here to view our UV alright so as you can see it's a whole big mess and I kinda want it to be a lot cleaner than this so I'm going to start stitching this kind of so let's see if I take this edge right here I can see that it's kind of connecting if I go to my shell right there and there and there. I kind of want that to all just be one strip. You see how it is currently in these three things right here. Well, what I can do is I can select, for example, that edge because that's one of the seams where these two things connect. And if I go look here, you can see this is where those two would connect. I'm going to hold down Shift and right click and just click Move and Sew Edges. And now, if you were to look, you can see, bam, we already have half of that done and I'm going to select this edge right here and hold down shift right click again move and sew edges alright so that looks pretty good so far let's take a look at what this looks like so yep that's that um, we should have another one for the bottom yep and then a front and a back UV map alright that was a really simple UV mapping but it's fine now I'm gonna click on this tombstone right now and I'm gonna go to modify freeze transformations that way it doesn't get all messed up when we lay this out and right now as well if I select all of that make sure they are unfolded yep so that they are the correct size you see if we hadn't modified it uh, I mean like freeze transformations when we had um, unfolded it this face right here would look all messed up and not proper okay so that is all nice but it's all over the place and we want it to be inside of this kind of square right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of that. And I'm going to click on this or if you don't have that that is just I'm pretty sure in modify layout or control L. And bam, if I go to here to see the checkerboard pattern, you can see that everything is the same. You see how there's no let me just delete this. Actually, no, I need that still. Sorry. Oh crap, what did I just do? Sorry, sorry. You see how there is no distortions in the mesh and everything is nice and smooth. See how all the boxes are all exactly the same size. If we hadn't UV mapped it, it would look kind of odd and textures would just not flow as nice. Okay, so now let's get into actually texturing this. So now that I have all that, I want to make sure everything is selected and go to Image, UV Snapshot. And then this will go to wherever you save it. I'm going to call this Gravestone. All right, one second. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so I want to make this image format PNG, uh, which is right here because um, uh, Maya.if file would not open in Paint.net. And let's see, the size is 2K. It's pretty good. Now the edge color, I want this to be black. That way the edges are more defined and it's easier to UV map. Uh, let's see, yeah, I want them to be anti-aliased and see tiles u1 and v1 that means you see how this is kind of uh, how am i going to show this um set up in like four different planes like um kind of like how in like geometry it would be um well this is you know positive one and um positive one on the y as well um which is this big thing right here and it is taking this one right here as you can see one and wherever the other one is one should be about here 
So one up on the x and or one up on the y and one up and across on the x is this thing right here that we're taking. Okay, so I'm gonna go and click apply and close. And now if I just exit out of all this craziness, we have a UV map that is saved. And I will open that in paint.net. You can do the same thing in like uh whatever it's called, um Photoshop if you have it, but I'm not rich. Okay, let's go to wherever you saved it, UV maps, and then that should be gravestone. Okay, and I'm just going to apply black background so it's easier to see. Uh, make that black and just put that. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I'm silly. Since I made the lines black, I have to make this one white. Okay, there we go. So now, as you can see, that looks exactly the same as our gravestone as we have right here and I'm going to add some textures to this to make it look nicer so how about we go to the internet and maybe find like a texture that would look cool maybe you know something interesting you can always tweak this does not matter but just like a kind of patternish kind of thing that kinda looks like this here that looks good actually speckled gravestone texture Okay, I'm going to save that to my textures. Actually, no, I just need to copy this. Go back into here. And I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm just going to paste this. And let's see. Drag it out to where it would be wanted. All right. Yeah. This might be different if you have a different program, but I'm just going to have that there. Alright, and then I'm going to paste that again. I'm sorry that this is kind of bootleggy, but since I don't have correct programs, this is kind of what I've done forever. Alright, this shouldn't look too bad though. Alright, great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add our rip thing. So it looks like this is probably the front. Maybe I'll even, I could type it in, but let's see if there's like a nice rip. Maybe something like this. Yeah, alright, I'm going to copy this. And I'm just going to go into here. And I'm going to just paste this in. Let's see. Oh, I need to make a new layer. Okay, here we go. Maybe a bit bigger. This is a very basic tutorial for people who have like never UV unwrapped something before. Alright. That should look good, so I'm just gonna go back out of here. Again, I'm very sorry about this mess right here, but that's just because I don't have real programs. And I wanted them not to be, um, what is it, like, all one thing, because then the gravestone texture would be really ugly and big. Okay, so I'm gonna save this to textures which is what I have mine called so where is it here we go I'm gonna make this a PNG and I'm gonna save this fly in it whatever go back into Maya and I'm going to apply a Lambert to this I'm gonna go here file file again go to where I saved it textures and I'm just gonna type in whoops gravestone open that and press 6 so I can see and okay that looks alright um, and you know what I just realized I forgot to take away those lines so it looks kinda odd but I just forgot to take them away you can take them out if you want but that's just a very basic kind of thing of how I would create a gravestone and very basically UV unwrap it so sorry that this kinda had a few hiccups but yeah thanks for watching